Hello children today we are going to learn a new lesson standard 4th subject evs 1 science lesson number 11 a look inside the body children look at this picture this boy is taking a deep breath what happened then his chest expanded the question here why does the chest expand when we breathe in yes children when we breathe in the outside air enters the body and hence the chest swells in this picture the doctor puts her fingers on your wrist to feel your pulse you too can feel your pulse what causes this throbbing at the wrist there is a blood vessel that flows very close to the skin if we place our fingers there we can feel the heart beats this is called feeling the pulse now internal organs what is meant by internal organ students the organs present inside the body and those which cannot be seen from outside are called internal organs here which parts of our body do we use for the following first one seeing second walking third hearing and fourth one writing look at this picture students for seeing what body part we are using yes our eyes for walking legs for hearing ears and for writing hands what is meant by external organs give some examples organs that are on the outside of the body are external organs examples eyes ears arms and legs which parts of the body are called sensory organs why are they called so you already studied this in the third standard eyes ears nose tongue and skin are our sensory organs we are aware of our surroundings by these organs so they are called sensory organs children our lesson name is a look inside the body so what we are going to study here internal organs so many functions are going inside our body blood circulation is with the help of blood vessels and heart and the air we breathe is carried to all parts of the body through this blood only then the next one our digestion process the food we are eating what happening inside our stomach yes digestion is going there so these are the functions carried out by different organs they are called the internal organs so here we are going to study about some internal organs children here we are going to study about the special places for internal organs here some biscuits were put in a glass jar the jar was then shaken and turned over what happens to the biscuit students yes inside it will break right students now take a packet of biscuits was shaken in the same way 
What happened to the biscuits? Nothing. It can't. Move only. No space is there. So that biscuits will not break. So from this, what you understood students? Yes, for our internal organs, special places are there. That is why our internal organs are not getting any damage. Children, there are hollow spaces for these organs inside the head and the torso. They are called cavities. The cavity inside the head is called the cranial cavity. Look here children. See in the head what cavity is there? Cranial cavity. The cavity in the torso has three parts. The cavity in the chest is called thoracic cavity. Look here. In the chest which cavity is there? Thoracic cavity. The cavity inside the abdomen has two parts. They are the abdominal cavity and the pelvic cavity. All the internal organs of the body are situated in these cavities. According to this situation, they cannot leave their place and move here and there. Now, the next internal organ, the esophagus. Here, this man is filling the water from the tap into a drum. The drum is some distance away from the tap. Still the water from the tap is flowing into the drum. Why is this so? Here, what you understood students? This man is filling the water from the tap into a drum. From the tap means what? That is your mouth. You are putting your food into your mouth. Then where it will reach? The water will reach to the drum. Same way your food will reach to the stomach. Through what it will reach there? Here that man what is using? The pipe. Same way from our mouth. To the stomach, one connection is there. That connection is called the esophagus. Very detail, I will explain now. Listen. In this picture, we can see internal organs. What are that? Mouth, esophagus and stomach. So, first what? We will put our food into our mouth. Then what will happen? That food we have to taste and chew it. Then later it will become like a ball. Then in our mouth what is there? Saliva is there. That saliva also mixes with the food. As a result the food form a moist ball. Then it is easy to swallow this soft ball. Then that food passing through this throat into the esophagus. It is a flexible wall. Then the food will flow through that esophagus and it comes to the stomach. So this tube like part that carries the swallowed food from the throat into the stomach. So, this tube is called esophagus or we can say the other name it is gullet. Where it is situated? It is situated in the thoracic cavity. But now the food reached where? In the stomach. In that stomach is in which cavity? That is in the abdominal cavity. Here, the journey of food in our body begins in the mouth. The internal organs in the abdomen help to digest it. Then, this undigested, unwanted part is passed out through the anus in the form of feces. 
ഫുഡ് ട്രാവൽസ് ത്രൂ എ പൈപ്പ് ലൈക്ക് പാത്ത് വേ ഫ്രം ദ മൗത്ത് ടു ദ എനസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് ദ അലിമെൻറ്ററി കനാൽ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് അബൌട്ട് നയൻ മീറ്റേഴ്സ് ലോങ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് മെയ്ഡപ്പ് ഓഫ് എ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ഇൻറ്റേണൽ ഓർഗൻസ് ദ ഈസോഫാഗസ് ഈസ് എ പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദ അലിമെൻറ്ററി കനാൽ Remaining part of this lesson will continue in the next lecture. Thank you.